Hello booktube, I thought I'd make a video even though I'm still sick with a cold but it's been two or three days and uh, I don't want you to think that I have uh, abandoned ship. No, I'm still out here, I'm still sick. Uh, yeah, so today is May the 23rd, 2017. It is a Tuesday. It is 7.55 here in West Michigan at night. It is, uh, it's been kind of cloudy, rainy, kind of cold. But, hey, it's 74 degrees right now inside my, my cell. Uh... As far as my diary, I ended on page 461 tonight. Tomorrow is May the 24th, 2017. I'll be on page 462 tomorrow morning, Lord willing. So yeah, so what have I been reading? Well. I got in the mail. I mentioned uh, this series in one of my recent videos, this uh, ancient Christian doctrine. I said it was on the Apostles' Creed. I was wrong. It's on. It's an exposition on the Nicene Creed. Uh, this is volume one. We believe in one God, edited by Gerard Bray. Then in the ancient Christian comment, he. Ancient Christian Doctrine, Volume 2, We Believe in the One Lord Jesus Christ, edited by John Anthony McClocken, who I have been reading consistently the last, even in my sickness, Path of Christianity, the First Thousand Years, by John Anthony McClocken. Uh, I read 116 pages of that in the last couple of days. The chapter of the fertile second century of the early church. So he added that this one we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ of the Nicene Creed. And then volume three, ancient Christian doctrine, we believe in the crucified and risen Lord, volume three, edited by Mark J. Edwards. And today I got in the mail volume four of ancient Christian doctrine, we believe in the Holy Spirit edited by Joel C. Elksky. So I was looking at this tonight. I was reading the introduction here, which is on the, the history of the development of the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. And the, just a, he's going through basically the first, the fourth century. He, go, he goes through first two centuries, the third century, fourth century and beyond. He goes into the Lord and giver of life, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit with the Father and the Son. And he goes into the Alexandrians and uh, so just an introduction. So I was looking at that tonight so I, I still got volume five in the ancient Christian doctrine, which is, I believe, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. So I'll probably get that one soon. So I've been reading, uh, looking at these in my state of sickness, and reading this big clunker on the path of Christianity. So I've been reading those and reading still John Piper, reading the Bible supernaturally. I read this the other morning and this morning I read still the scripture as real presence, uh, Sacrament of Jesus in the Early Church by Hans Borsma and still reading 1 Corinthians New Testament volume 9a because 
It's called A because there's a B, 1 Corinthians, and then you have 2 Corinthians in the New Testament. So this is the Reformation commentary on 1 Corinthians. So yeah, I got that. Not much else going on. Uh, I was going to show you all these uh, used books that I have bought at thrift stores, but I'm not really feeling well. I'm not feeling up to it. Uh, they're stacking up. Uh, every time we go on, I go out to do an errand, like get a prescription, go to the store, put gas in the car. This morning we had to go get some dog food for Ro Rudy and some treats. I always have to stop at thrift stores, Salvation Army, Goodwill, the Humane Society uh, thrift store. Uh, so I always have to stop and look around and I'm always finding stuff. And it's stacking up, but like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 books that I could show you tonight, but I'm not feeling well. But I just wanted to, uh, to, what's the word? I wanted to check in. <laughs> I wanted to check in and say, hey, uh, thank you for the comments. I do like your questions, and uh, I do like, uh, looking at the book too. I do notice that, like I said, there's a lot of young people in BookTube, a lot of girls, uh, a lot of young guys, but uh, I have found a new guy called uh, Paper, uh, his name is Junkie Paperback, I found today, I've been watching him. He was mentioned by uh, a guy named, in BookTube, Ben Sanders so I looked at him and he was I watched that he's an old guy maybe not old he's I'm older than him but he was kind of interesting uh, as far as else what I'm reading uh, I didn't I don't have it with me but I'm still reading that biography on Harry Cruz uh, what's that called I can't remember in my second state uh, reading the Bible supernaturally, I have that. I've been reading that. Uh, oh yeah, Blood, Bone, and Marrow: The Biography of Harry Cruz by Ted Giltner. I've been reading that pretty consistently. Not today. Today I've been primarily reading uh, Path of Christianity, and then I read Scripture as Real Presence. And then tonight, I'm reading We Believe in the Holy Spirit and the Ancient Christian Doctrine series. So yeah, that's what I've been reading today. What is the Nicene Creed? Maybe it has it in here, a copy of it, on the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. Uh, when we would go to church, in uh, those who know, I am from the Reformed theological tradition, Calvinism, and in those churches we do recite in the in the morning worship or the Nicene Creed. We do quote. We do recite it. Uh, I don't think I have a full copy here of the Nicene Creed. Maybe it's in the first volume. Let me see in the first volume. It has the Nicene, Nicene Creed. Oh, Nicene Creed. Let me see. We believe. We believe in one God, Father, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, all that is seen and unseen and then in volume two we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ which goes we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God eternally begotten of the Father God from God light from light 
true God and true true God from true God, begotten, not made of, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made and was made man. And then we believe in the crucified and risen Lord, which goes, let me see here. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and of his kingdom will have no end. <coughs> so, yeah, like in our churches, we would recite the Nicene Creed. And some churches I've been in, they have preached to the Nicene, the Nicene Creed. But, uh, so that's why I'm reading. And like I said, I'm still sick. I'm just checking in. I will go through the stack of used books when I really feel, feel well. Like I said, I got 15 of them, all kinds of stuff. I, I was kind of pleased. I, one book I found was by Philip Dick, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? This was the inspiration for the movie The Blade Runner, which a new one is coming out. I don't know if it's a, 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 sec, a sequel to the one that, but I found a Philip Dick, so. But, like I said, I'm not in the mood. I just want to check in to say hi. I'm still out here. I'm still reading. I'm still writing in my diary. I'm still reciting the Nicene Creed. I'm still studying biblical patristic exegesis. Still reading about the ancient church, the first, the first thousand years reading the Bible. Hey, I was reading the Bible today and I really, I was reading Psalm 73 this morning and I really was blessed by these work and uh, these verses in Psalm 73 and I thought I might as well just close with them tonight. I, the churches that we went to were psalm singing churches. So we sang to the psalms and preached to the psalms. And I really like Psalm 73, especially the last verses, which says, Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reign. So foolish was I, and ignorant I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by my right. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Who am I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides thee. That's true. There's nothing on this earth that I desire but God, supremely God. Now, I love my wife, my children, my grandchildren. I love my neighbors. But my supreme desire is for the Lord Jesus Christ and to see his glory, to worship him without sin in the eternal state. It says here, uh, who am I in heaven but thee? There is none upon the earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart fainteth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is, my, God is our portion forever. That's a great confession to say that, that God is our portion forever and forever throughout eternal ages. For, thee, for lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Those who are outside of Christ, out of his out of who are not saved they don't know uh, they've been forgiven of their sins and have faith in Christ that they're going to perish thou hast destroyed all them that go whoring from thee but it is good for me to draw near to God and I put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works that's what struck me this morning it is good for me to draw near to God so I hope that you're all drawing near to God, that you are, know something of that desire to be with Him forever, to be with Him now, to be in His presence, and to be able to confess what I just read in Nicene Creed. And so I will close reading, We Believe in the Holy Spirit.
And until next time, bye. Next time, bye.